SoCal TV. This is Annie Bush reporting live from Outside Lands. Outside Lands, we got a press pass. Okay, now we're coming to the segment where we ask people if they think their food is poison. Let's go, follow me. What are you guys eating? Um, fried chicken bon mi. Fried dog egg. Are you guys scared somebody's gonna poison it? Yeah. There's cat in there, right? There's cat in there. I've trained myself by drinking a little bit of poison every day to become immune to it. <laughs> Has anybody ever cheated on their partner before? Yes. No. Have you ever cheated? Cheated on test? On your partner. On my partner, no, but on test, yes. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. I'm looking for a cheater. Do you know any good cheaters cheater around here? Partner. None of our friends. Oh, uh, okay. You? What's your name? Jaron Tarver. Um, are you dressed up today? No. Anything you've learned from Outside Lands? Any tips for people that want to go next year? Um, make sure you bring something to carry or make sure to get a locker. Would you cheat on Harvey Weinstein? No, you just, you don't interact with Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> like if you were dating him, would you cheat on him? I think you just break up with him, right? That's true. So. Who's your like favorite person that you're gonna see today? Today, uh, probably Rufus. Uh, Rufus! You guys like doing drugs, is that why? <laughs> no. Okay, how did you get the, your idea for your business? I've always done art. This has been my first year, and I think the pandemic kind of just... I'm a hairstylist also, so I had to leave doing hair for a while when everything shut down, and this was kind of my like passion project. How do you start as like a passion project and then eventually get a booth outside lens? I guess just through Instagram and marketing with people. I'm from Portland, um, but I feel like Portland's a really friendly art scene and everyone wants to help everyone. This is? DJ Storm. Are you here working because you want to like work and then go to the festival? It's a bit of both. I love the people that we work with that Toyota hired, like that group is amazing. However, getting off and being able to see Lizzo or Tyler the Creator is an awesome benefit. Do you like being a gatekeeper? Is it kind of fun? Absolutely not. What's the strangest experience you've had at this festival by far as like a worker here? Um, two people in a row who are not connected to one, to one each other um, asked me if they had cocaine in their noses. And what did you say? One person did, one person didn't, so I was honest. So just get a little bit of water on your hands and just take care of that, you'll be fine. I'm Annie, I'm here at Outside Lands today with... Michael. Are you a Phoebe Bridgers fan? Who's that? All right. Have you had any scary experiences? Have you ever done a Ouija board? There is this one time I was staying in my family's house in Maine. You know Maine. Maine. Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with it. All the fucking way across, all the way across over there. Yep, yep, I'm familiar with it. And I was sleeping there. I was probably like 12. And in the middle of the night, I heard this loud ass crash. And we, I like sprung up from the couch, and there was the, like a picture frame laying on the floor of like the great grandma who died in the house. Do you believe in ghosts? Because of that experience? I guess because of that and like just I guess my own thoughts on the afterlife. What are your thoughts about the afterlife? In like four seconds describe your thoughts about the afterlife. That our energy is eternal and that we can permeate through multiple dimensions at a time. <laughs> 